Hello everyone, this is Brian bringing you episode 14 of my reusable space program. Okay, someone asked me for a stats report. I got all level, all buildings up to level 2. This is what my tech tree looks like. I'm mainly out uh, unlocking the 300s and trying to get some 3 million, 3.5 million there so I can upgrade my um, science center to level 3. Oh. Now one thing I'm going to do to quickly increase my funds here is um, I did upgrade my command center to level 3. I'm going to quickly grab a whole bunch of contracts here just to get a bunch of extra funds. They're all around MUN, so I don't think I'll have any problem doing them. I don't think that'll make me bankrupt. So, so there we go. I can take a bunch of these. These are all good for me right now. Now it has been, I know it's been a couple weeks since I've done one. Um, I ran into a bug that kind of destroyed my um, save game. And so I promised you a refueling of that uh, those two satellites over MUN. And I flew that mission um, kind of as a simulation. I don't record those. And then um, I came back to do it for real, and I loaded a vehicle in my VAB that had um, a part that had been removed um, from the game data folder. And that uh, wiped out all my active contracts. Um, so I just went, OK, well, <clears throat> I'll just take that simulation game where I had completed that mission. I'll make that the real one. I flew a whole bunch more, and that satellite now needs to be refueled again because it's going to be time to move it on to Minmus. So I will go ahead and refill it now. And as you can probably tell, my voice is pretty dry. I also had a little bit of a cold that's kind of uh, sapped it a little bit. And I've been super busy in my real life. Those are my excuses anyway. So there's the satellite. Here's what the map looks like right now. You can see there's a few areas I've missed. It's just showing some, this is showing the carbonite deposits, um, which is what I'll be using for fuel. The twin craters over there on the right has a good one, but I think I'm going to go for the poles, which actually has another good one. <laughs> Okay, so Jebediah is on his way to refuel that satellite. <coughs> and this mission being of some importance, I'm going to go ahead and basically tell the story of just this mission. This was the second rocket that I had launched um, this Kerbal night. You may see the other satellite heading out to Mun in the, um, in the map. And what I did was I flipped between them quite often to fly those simultaneously, but for this, I'm just going to tell the story of him because this video is already too long as it is. This is a little bit of a risky launch too because I don't have um, any kind of abort system yet. Alright, so here we are. And this happens. So to get... <coughs> it's kind of a funky connection here. You know, because you build out, you've got those four um, uh, fuel tanks and engines, and to attach the rocket underneath, you had to do some some strange stuff, and not everything disconnected properly. So there's a little bit of debris out here, but all the engines are functioning, everything is here, the rocket's fine, everything's fine. So I continue on. So first thing to do here, extend the orbit out to uh, Minmus's orbit or uh, Mun's orbit there. And I briefly got an encounter. I just need to sweep it around a little bit here until I get an encounter. And I kind of want to check too. This orbit is um, right now it's facing Kerbin. So when it's 90 degrees away, I'll be coming in um, kind of perpendicular to it. To where it is now, which then should be okay, because usually you come in either from the front or the front.
and I remember on my way out that, hey, I think I can get some science out here. And this is where I remember that I didn't put a antenna on this craft. So, all this science has to make it all the way home. Kind of an annoying thing going on with uh, dot ninety right now, where as soon as you go EVA, you kind of get tossed out of the capsule. You can't hold on to the ladder. And yeah, that's my solution to not having a quad coupler yet. You get three doubles going on there. So first note here, I'm going to try and uh, adjust the inclination here, I think. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Inclination burns. Everybody says, I've never measured this, but everybody says that they are cheaper the farther out you are, you know, the higher altitude you are. So I want to get that done first. Aim at the node. Okay, next node would be the capture burn. Collect some science on the way in too. So you got uh, crew reports or uh, and uh, EVA reports that you can do. Okay, space high over the moon. Okay, not too far off here. Another inclination change to get it uh, right on the money. Again, I deliberately picked the farthest um, ascending or descending node, the one with the highest altitude, I should say, to get a cheaper burn. Turn my cross the orbit of the target there, setting up another node. Ooh, 
some bad editing there. So next time we cross, I bring this orbit a little more in line. I think what happened there, you may not have seen it because that um, frame rate kind of dropped, but I started to time warp and I got some messages saying, you are entering this area. And I didn't realize it, but I could have completed um, one or two parts of a contract right there um, by flying high over a couple of sites and doing crew reports. Unfortunately, I time warped right past it because, uh, you know, those those zones are small. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm up here at high orbit, which is too bad, but I'll have to come back anyway to complete that contract. Okay, at this point, I think I've switched the camera into chase mode. That waypoint pretty much uh, got me right there. I was kind of lucky on that one. Came in from high elliptical orbit, and when I kind of matched my orbit to the target, I was so close, I just went straight in from there. Now I need to do a home and transfer and all that. So I'm going to chase mode. Now my uh, JKL and I keys pretty much match what up and down is, left and right is on the camera. So right before and right after this mission, I have been flying mission after mission after mission as fast as I can, trying to get those uh, get the funds up there to get that uh, research center. Okay, so here we go. Fold up those solar panels. Those things are so fragile, if you bump those, they will fall off. So this is kind of standard procedure for me when docking. Now what you're going to see here, it took two attempts to do this. The first time I, I got up to it, and by the time I got out in EVA and um, you know grabbed a hold of the pipe and brought it over there and everything, we had, I had drifted away too far. You, know, you have to get within a certain distance. So this is the second try. I would have shown that, but this video is already too long as it is. Um, so this time, get really close, try and get my orbital uh, difference in speed down to zero, try and turn around so that the uh, pipe is facing the um, satellite, and then now I just fly over to it. So I have to right click on that KAS pipe attachment when I'm close. Click on the button that says link. Now I just take this pipe over to the other pipe attachment that is on the satellite there, right next to the engine. OK, 
Okay, there it is. Link. All right, we're set. Now I can climb back in and transfer the fuel. Another precaution here, shut everything down. I found that when I go to alt click on the tanks to move the fuel around, sometimes I just forget and I hit shift or something and if that happens then all of a sudden we're going to have two ships that are spinning around in circles. If you want to see what that looks like, one of my early videos uh, called Refueling the SUV uh, shows that. Now I should note that before I flew this mission, I um, on the satellite I created a node that would... Um, well actually on the first mission where I was going to change the inclination. I create, to figure out how much fuel to put into it, I created a node, then I went back into the VAB um, with the delta V required from that node, figured out how much fuel it would take to fly that node, and then that's exactly how much I put into it. It's kind of a nice, tricky way to, to do that. With this one, I'm just trying to get in as much as possible. So I'm only keeping barely enough to return to Kerbin here. I think I transferred all of it over and now I'm put just a little bit back is what happened. So I'm only keeping I don't know, I think it's uh what about two fifty plus the monopropellant for myself? Given the rest of the side. Okay, time to go out and disconnect. Now, unfortunately, I did forget something here. That satellite is not balanced. Um, it requires monopropellants really to thrust in a straight line. Um, yeah, monopropellant will keep it uh, facing where it's supposed to go. So I am going to have to come back to this satellite, but I may wait until I have a more of a presence here on Mun, and it's not such a big deal. I hate to fly all the way back here just for that. Yeah, those tanks are completely empty, too. Okay, time to move off from the satellite, leave it to its business. And then, with some of the fuel left over, I am going to start grabbing crew reports and EVA reports over all of these biomes.
right here I'm flying close enough to that waypoint that uh, it's a contract waypoint I'm really hoping that I, I make that nice uh, sweet spot there where I'm within about 20 kilometers of it and I can get that one done but on the previous orbit I went right over it and on this one I'm just a little bit far away I think Oh, it's blinking, but that waypoint happens to be the one you need to fly under a specific altitude, so I was too high for that. Or wait, or did I get that one? I'm not sure. This is in post, obviously. There were about three of those. Parameter complete. Okay, I got one. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to show you just a few of these, but to save time, I'm not going to show you all that. Basically, just orbiting around and doing reports to the report, get back at, just like I did around Kerbin. This can be a little unnerving when the capsule's spinning around. Okay, just gotta be patient with it. Okay, enough of that. Now for the return trip. So to return, you just need to thrust backwards along the orbit of Mun, which is basically you're slowing down your orbit with respect to Kerbin. So that's what I'm trying to do there. Go ahead and let SA, Smart SAS help me out. Keep it on, keep it on that node. That has to be one of the strangest orbits I've ever seen, that blue line there. There we go. Okay, now for some serious arrow breaking. First thing I need to do is I need to get that periapsis down to... Oh, I'm not sure where I put it. Um, probably around 40 kilometers is usually where I do it. Now, I don't want to hit that atmosphere too fast. And I don't want to use a lot of fuel. I can't use a lot of fuel. I don't have much left um, to slow down, so... I think I made three or maybe even four passes around. I'm just going to show one. They're all the same. They're pretty boring. And what I do is I just watch my custom window there on the right, watch the apoapsis decrease. And if you just leave your periapsis there, you'll just keep decreasing that apoapsis with uh, using friction. Okay, now the last one, I thought I was going to go a lot farther than I did. I was planning on landing much closer to KSC, but um, I think I lowered my periapsis a little more because um, I got impatient, and then instead of skipping up and out of the atmosphere, it caught me and pulled me down. So this is the landing. Of course, a big, wide, flat vehicle like this um, 
decelerates very quickly. science I think which is nice not a lot of recovery on these parts of course that's so far away and Jebediah does not gain experience because he's been to the moon before all right now how about that booster it comes down once again short I have since you know, I've flown a couple missions missions since this one I think I've got this figured out now but this is one of the last ones where I hadn't gotten it figured out, but I was like, you know what? I've got a thousand Delta V on this. Um, when these drogue shoes uh, disconnect, so I'm going to go ahead and fly it closer to the KSC and land again with the other the main parachutes. There we are. Yeah, those landing gear act like fins, so it does not want to fly... Uh, fins first. There we go. And this landing only a, what is it, 142 meters? No, distance 500, so we're only half a kilometer away from the waypoint. Great. to do the deed here on this research center. Look at that. There's a whole lot of biomes in there too. I don't know if I'm going to spend time going to them all though. Okay, and I can unlock the meta materials, which gives me the docking port senior that I've wanted so badly to build space stations with. It's right there at the bottom. Alright everyone, have a good night. Time to do some station building.